lisa.com coming to you live on youtube and hopefully we'll have a bunch of people join us in a second i didn't announce this one and i'm running late i was trying to get on here by 10 o'clock but as usual my day doesn't go as planned so i have to tell you about that story in just a few minutes but <laughs> let me see if i can find myself online because for some reason it's hard to find yourself when you're doing a youtube live it just hides somewhere and uh, you have to go searching for it. So let me see if I can find myself. Yep, there I am. So hopefully you guys are getting a notification that I'm on here. Hey, Paulette. And we'll get a bunch of people joining us. So we're making this gorgeous card today featuring the flowering rain boots from Stampin' Up. It is absolutely gorgeous. And I don't know if you can see the shimmer and sparkle on here. But it's so pretty. And I should have put some Winkostella. We'll do that for, for the one we make today. Hey, Monica. Hey, Jude. All right, some people are joining us. Hey, Cindy. How are you guys doing today? Oh, I have an ad on mine now. <laughs> How can I be live and have an ad? <laughs> oh, hey, Beth. Hey, Barbara. All right, now I'm spinning in a circle. All right, we're going. Can y'all hear me? Can you hear me now? Hey, Danette. Hey, Minda. From Hawaii. I wish I was in Hawaii right now. But it's pretty nice today. It's actually like about 60 degrees and a beautiful day out today. So it feels like spring. So this is a good card to do today. I did this card in my uh, one of my classes a couple days ago. And everybody loved it. So I thought I'd share it with you. And my computer's still spinning in a circle, so um, let me try one more time. There we go. All right, so hopefully I am live with you guys. Hey, Rachel. Hey, is it Kyle Omega? Terry? Carol? Tina? All right, we've got a bunch of people on now, so we can get started. All right, so if you just joined, we're making this beautiful card today. And it's using the flowering rain boots from Stampin' Up, and I've got gorgeous colors on here. I just love the colors that I used. And we're also using the Simply Marvelous paper. So here's the stamp set. Hey, Anya, how are you doing? What time is it over there? Oh, it's probably afternoon for you, right? Minda says, still dark here. But I think it's gonna be around 80. Oh, you're the one in Hawaii, huh? <laughs> Well, it's supposed to be, I think, 65 here today, which is not too bad. So Flowering Rain Boots is a brand new stamp set that I just got the other day, and I hadn't played with it until last week. And I came up with this beautiful card, and I wanted to share it with you. It does come with matching dies, so we're going to be using the dies today. And I'm also using the Silly Marvelous uh, paper that is free in the Celebration mini catalog. So you get all different colors. You've got pink, um, yellow, and there's some green. I think I've used almost all the green now. Purple. That's more pink. And then we've got blue. We've got a, like a balmy blue. And we also have like a pool party cabana kind of blue. And there is also gray, but that's all I've got left of the gray. I do have another pack though, but this is the pack I've been using mostly. And it's, oh, it's this on one side. And then on the other side, it's got the like... Um, shaving cream swirl look or else cool whip with some food coloring mixed in kind of look so it's really pretty on both sides just one side is softer more softer than the other and um, that's the one i've been using the most and this stamp set is in the spring mini i'm not sure what page but we'll find it real quick and it's got the dies that go with it and we're using those i don't know what page this is on <laughs> oh here it is <laughs> All right, so it's got some really cute samples here. And um, I tried to order these the other day, the little pebbles, and they're out. So you can't get those pebbles right now. And also the rhinestones we're using today are out too. So this is on page 30 in the um, Spring Mini. And those are the dies that come with it. They totally match everything. So it's a great little bundle for $49.50. And also, so if you get that, that's $49.50. You just need to spend 50 more cents, which there's nothing in the, in the catalog. 50 cents so just buy something for like three dollars and then you can get a free pack of the marvelous paper so there you go so it's a great time to buy stuff stock up on paper ink 
um, everything that you want and get free stuff with it. All right, so let me show you what you need. So we've got, let me move this out of the way. I'll keep one there. So you need a piece of polished pink, five and a half by eight and a half, a piece of three by five and a quarter designer paper. This is the Simply Marvelous. A piece of white, four by five and a quarter. This is for the inside of the card. A piece of two by five, just jade. Um, a piece, well, actually a whole pile of scraps. So I just have scraps of white. And that's for cutting out these three pieces. So when I first made the card, I did it flat. So I didn't cut them out and I just did it flat. So everything is not punched out in here. It's just totally flat. And I thought, oh, I think I'd rather just punch it out and give it some dimension to it. So then I did it that way. So if you don't have the dies or you don't like die cutting or for some reason you just don't want to do that, it's much easier to do this, but I think it looks better when it's popped up. Got a crumb on there. All right, so you can do it either way, but the dies I think look really cute. All right, so scraps of white for that. And then the Tasteful Label die. This is just one of them, and I actually cut off about a half of an inch off of that because I wanted it to go right here on the edge of this and it just was hanging over too much. So I just cut off like half an inch off the left side. So that's what that one is. So if you wanna take a screenshot of that, you can. Hey, Starla. And, uh, oh, you just got home from work and joined my video, yay. Hey, Maria. And um, I just showed Maria yesterday how to do a screenshot. So if an iPhone, you press the, let me see, what is it? I can't think of it without holding it in my hand. Um, you press the home button and the power button at the same time. So I looked up Android. So if you have an Android, it is either the home button and the power button or the home button and the, I mean the power button and the uh, volume down button. You have to press those at the exact same time and it'll take a screenshot of whatever is on your computer screen or your phone screen. You can do it on your computer too. I just don't know how to do that, but uh, hopefully you guys can do all that and get a picture and then you'll have everything you need to make this. So it's super easy. The hardest part is just popping these out with the die cutting machine. So take all those off and we're going to get started. So um, first thing we're going to do is just stamp everything on the scrap paper. So let's do that. So we've got our scraps right here. This is just leftover from my class the other day. I want a little piece of scrap paper to go under it. See if I have one. Somewhere I do. Oh, there's one. Okay, so let's just put this underneath. Just in case. All right, so I'm gonna use the big one here for the boots. So the boots I stamped in smooth slate. And this stamp is really, really pretty stamped. It just comes out really beautiful. And remember, it is photopolymer, so you want some kind of pad underneath what you're doing so that you get a good image. And always give it an extra second to um, go on the paper. So there you go, there's the boots. Then we've got our leaves. So I'm gonna put the leaves, oops, not in gray. We're done with that. So that was Smoky Slate. Then we're gonna go to Just Jade. And we're gonna do our leaves. And um, put those on the scrap paper and we also want to put some on our inside piece so this is the inside of the card so I'm gonna put some down at the bottom I'll try to get the stems kind of off the page there you go it's a little bit on the page but that's all right and then we're gonna use the pink which is the polished pink and that's a beautiful color with the Just Jade. They just go so well together. Now somebody has did that. See that little mark in there? That's because you pressed too hard. Or else it's fingerprints. I don't know which one. So we're going to ink this up and it just matches perfectly with this one. So I don't really need this scrap paper anymore. So we're just going to line it up and it's better if you can see right over top of it. I can't really see right over top of it right this minute. But we're going to try and just line it up and boom and there you go so that is beautiful just by itself and it's got flower pots in there that are really cute and um, a watering can and it's just a really cute stamp set i'm gonna do this one over here 
So there you go. Oh, and then we've got the words. So the words are, I think, and that's, yeah, I'm pretty sure they're in the stamp set. And we're gonna put those on that little piece right here. And I'm just gonna do it right in the middle, like this. And there you go. All right, so all of our stamping is done. So that was super easy. And then if you didn't have to punch it out, it'd really be easy. All right, so what I did, I went ahead and did these ahead of time. So you've got the dies here that match perfectly. So you put it on top. For this one, I lined up this little um, buckle right here. So line that up perfectly. And when you've got that good, I always put washi tape on mine just to hold it down. And then run it through the die cutting machine. And there you go for those. And then the flowers also cut out great. So you have this, <laughs> it's funny because this really kind of, when I looked at it the first time, reminded me of a hand and that's like the thumb and that would be like the um, finger sticking up. <laughs> and I looked at it and thought, wow, that's interesting. <laughs> so you want to make sure you line up these little pieces with the stems. If you have, if you don't see the stems in there, not lined up right. So just do that. When you get all the stems in the little skinny parts, then just push it down. So there you go. That one pops out like that. And same with the flowers. The flowers line up perfectly also. And if you just have your little washi tape to hold it down, they'll come out perfectly. And there you go. So here's all my things popped out. And then we're going to put it together. And I have to show you something today. So oh, let me read some comments real quick. I know a bunch of y'all have uh, commented. I think I missed a bunch, a bunch of them. Let's see. Oh, somebody says, oh, Kai Omega says it's 20 degrees and snowing. Yikes. All right, my sound is good today. That's good. Good morning from New Hampshire. Hey. Screenshot. Yay. Oh, good. Maria, the screenshot worked. I'm so excited for you. On your Windows desktop, you can use the shipping tool to take a Oh, snipping tool to take a picture. I don't have Windows. I have a Mac. Mac, uh, iMac. Everything I have is Apple. <laughs> so then it's all like coordinated together. So, um, all right. Hey, Chris from Germany and Grandma from Wisconsin. Uh oh. That says the audio is breaking up a little bit. Well, I don't know why because I have everything turned off. I've got <gasps> except do not disturb. Oh my god, I forgot about do not disturb. I hope you know your call. Maybe that's why, and the Bluetooth is on. Hold on, let me see one second. Well, if I close this, you're not gonna be able to see anything. <laughs> that's not good. <laughs> I don't know how to do it on my phone because everything would go away if I press the button to shrink it. We'll just pray that nobody calls me on my phone. I forgot to turn the do not disturb off. All right, so we're just gonna hurry up and hope nobody calls. All right, so let's put this together. Um, we're gonna put this on the inside. Dang, I gotta write myself like a message of what to remember to do before. I closed all the windows, turned everything off on my phone, closed all the computer windows, so there would be nothing else trying to get Wi-Fi. But I forgot the Bluetooth and the Do Not Disturb. So we're praying the phone doesn't ring. All right, so then, uh-oh, I am missing a piece. Hold on, we forgot a piece. We forgot the white piece. So you need a white piece too. So I forgot that one. So let me measure that for you real quick. Where did my little ruler go? All right, so we need a white piece. Sorry, I forgot this one. This is four and three quarters by two and three quarters. So you do need that white piece right there. That's what we're putting everything on. So we're gonna start with the boots. So we're gonna put those. Actually, what you can do You've got these flowers here, and you want them to kind of look like they're coming out of the boots. I, on mine, have a bow that covers all that. So for mine, I don't really need to worry about that, but if you don't have a bow and you want it to look like it's coming right out, just snip off that little white part at the bottom so that it's even with the green part so you don't have that showing. And then you can either put it like that right in the middle. You can kind of curve it a little bit. It doesn't look like so straight. And then it'll look like it's coming right out of the boot. And you also could snip off if you want. You don't have to. If you snip off like this back part, it's a hair sticking out of here. 
if you snip off just this back part right here, like that, and this right here, then let me just trim this down. This is totally not necessary, but if you want it to look a little bit more realistic where the, the flowers are actually kind of sticking out from the boot, then you can do it that way. So then it looks like it's either coming out of it or, you know, it's right behind it, either one. But I'm, mine's going to be covered up with a bow, so it won't matter. So I'm going to put dimensionals on the back of this. And if you're stamping it and not punching it out, then don't even worry about it because it comes out pretty good without doing that. I have a little thing to show you that I bought on Amazon to make bows. So I mentioned it in my last video about the bow maker. And um, we did it in class the other day and almost everybody who tried it was like, oh, it's so easy. And it is super easy. So um, I'm going to show you how to do it. I need some tape. There we go. I'm just gonna put this on with tape and stick it kind of underneath it and put this little piece on top. There we go. Like so. So that's flat. Then we're putting the flowers on with dimensionals. And I think I wanna use half dimensionals because they're kind of skinny. Oops. And, oh, let me tell you about my story today. So this morning I got up and had to run a couple errands and um so i got up early so i would be you know up early do my errand be home and have my video going by 10 o'clock and that didn't happen because i got to sam's and everything was great there was nobody there i get like in and out well not in i got in and in line in 10 minutes and i always do the self check out there where you just like scan your stuff boom you're done well i put my credit card in and it just starts spinning around in a circle and it just says processing and it says take my card out and it just keeps spinning in circles. And I'm like, you have got to be kidding me. So there was a lady standing close by and about the same time, a man who was kind of a couple of miles over from me doing the same thing, he starts spinning. So she comes over to help me and she's like, oh no. She said, this just happened earlier. And um, let me see if this will stick under here. We might have to cut it a little bit. She said the computers are like locking up and they wouldn't print out a receipt or anything. It was just like processing and wouldn't do anything. She goes, let me see if I can find the manager. And I was like, okay. So 15 minutes later, I'm still standing there waiting and she's like to be found. And I'm just standing there trying to get somebody's attention so that they can come over and help me because I'm just stuck. I can't leave because I don't have a receipt. You know how they check the receipts when you walk out the door. And, um... We're gonna take this one. So now we got everything together on there. So that's dimensionals, that's dimensionals, this is flat. We're gonna put this on here, just with the um, jade behind it. This is just a scrap I had in my jade bag of um, paper. And so I just took out these and used them for this project. So we're just gonna put that on here and just leave a little bit of a border all the way around. And I love doing that when I have a whole bunch of scraps, like if I have a class and I have a whole pile of scraps that are all the same size, I really try to use those on the next class or, you know, upcoming class. So I don't have a whole pile of the same exact size of scraps. All right, then this one's going to go on here and we want it to sit right there. So we want our glue just on the green piece right here. So I'm just going to put it on this one. I don't want it on yet because that's going to be hanging off here. We're going to stick it right there and give that a good press down. All right, now I want my words to go under here and line up with the edge of this paper before I glue it down. So I've actually got a dimensional in the way there, so I'm going to keep cutting a little bit off of it until it slides under. So I'm waiting, waiting, waiting. Finally, the manager comes over. And she's like, oh, she said, we're just going to have to like cancel it. So she does something with the computer and it doesn't work. It's still just spinning it around in a circle. She's like, oh, we need to go find a key. We need to, to like restart the the whole system. And meanwhile, I'm sitting there like, okay, everything in my cart is just like, I, I, you know, I got cold stuff that needs to go in the refrigerator and 
Um, and I was in a hurry. So then she's like, well, just go over to um, a checkout line and we'll check you out. And so I go over to another line while my thing's still spinning. Well, I had like a $55 credit for, you know, having a Sam's credit card that I had used on the transaction. So the other lady goes to ring me up and it's $100. And I said, well, what about my $55 credit from my rewards? And she goes, oh, she goes, it's showing you already used it. And I said, well, if it's showing I already used it, then that means that payment went through. So she cancels the payment. Then she goes, okay, you have to go to, to customer service. I said, you have got to be kidding me because I got in line at 915 and now it's like 935, 940-ish. I mean, this is like taking 30 minutes, really. And I'm getting really, really aggravated. <laughs> at this point, I'm just like ready to just leave my cart and walk out. But I was worried that my car was already charged. So, you know, I kind of had to wait and there was nothing there I really needed. So anyway, I go to the customer service. She goes, can I see your receipt? <laughs> and I'm like, um, the whole reason I'm here is because I can't get a receipt. I paid like 30 minutes ago and it won't pop a receipt out of the machine. And she goes, oh, well, there's nothing I can do here. So then the manager comes back over and she goes, let's try it one more time. So we go back to the same machine. It's still spinning with my credit card over there. So they open it up and do something. Finally, it prints out a receipt and they're like, oh, sorry about that. You can go now. <laughs> At that point, it's 9.55. So I was in line, 9.15, what is that, 40 minutes. It took me to check out with like 10 things. I'm so mad. All right, so now what we're gonna do is make a bow. So I've got my gingham ribbon and this is from the flowers for every season it's a three pack that comes in the um uh big book and you get white a big thing of white you get this one and you get the baker's twine that's like blue and silver and i cut a piece about nine inches long you really only need about eight inches but i made it a little extra long so you can see how i do it so i got this on amazon mainly for my customer because i know how to tie them so this is what it looks like from this side. It's just two little rods. And I know a lot of you probably already have something like this. It's only $7.99 on Amazon. And the link is in my description box under the video. But I really wanted this for my customers because I have to make all the bows in class because nobody wants to, to make a bow. They all just are like scared of bows. So you just wrap it around the back, cross it over. So now you've got what looks like a, um, you know, a cancer bow kind of. You know, when they have little cancer things uh, in all different colors. All right, so I just have it crisscrossed over. So the one that's on top, you're going to take it down and bring it around the back and over. So that's all you do. And then you're just going to pull it tight. This one's a little wobbly. Pull it tight and tie it in a knot. And that's it. And then just make sure your knot's in the middle. And pull it. And then you slide it off. That one always comes out. Might pick a different one that's holds it tighter maybe that one all right so then you have this perfect little bow and you just maneuver these down and there you go so you have a perfect little bow and then you just trim it i'll show it to you again just in case you missed it so we'll do one more now i don't have this one measured it was about nine inches we'll say that looks good all right so if you missed it the first time you wrap it around the back and then I always do the left one on top. So it's just crisscrossing here. The one that's on top goes down on the bottom and up around the top. And then you just tie these two together. Super, super easy. And it makes a perfect bow every time. And then you just pull it tight and slide it off. And there you go, you have that beautiful bow, which if you want to leave it like that flat on something, you could, but I wouldn't mind to hang down. So if you just pull on these, um, you can also stick a little glue dot under them to hold them if you want to. So that's my little cute thing that I found on Amazon, and it just makes bows so easy. So if any of you guys have trouble making bows, it's definitely worth the $8 investment for that. And there were several on there. This is just the one that I picked because it comes with two other dowel rods. So you could make like, if you want to put another one here and make a bigger one, um, or you can move it over here, make a bigger one. 
So these are all different things. If you want a really tiny one, you could put it here. So I haven't really experimented a lot with it, but you know, I think it works pretty well. All right, so let me get my card back over here. We're gonna put this on with the glue dot and stick that right on the front. And if your little tails are not um, cooperating and you want them to go down, under each one and that will hold it in the right spot. So I'll put one right there and another one on the other side. That way they're not flying to the side so much. So we'll make it stick down and there you go. All right, so we've got our little bow. I think this side's longer. Okay. There we go. All right, now we need to put some bling on it. So I've got the um, rhinestones from the Spring Mini. I love, love, love these rhinestones. So we're gonna put some all over, one on the words, and one over here, and one up in the top. Then we need some Winkastella. Hopefully I didn't grab the one that's almost empty. And we'll put some Winkastella on our flowers like that, just give it a little shimmer. This one is almost empty, but it's got just enough. And then I have my shimmer spray. So if you don't have some of this, Stampin' Up! doesn't sell it anymore. They um, retired it a few months back. It was on the clearance rack for a while. This was the Champagne Mist, I think, yeah, Champagne Mist, but the Frost White is on Amazon. I'll have that link in my description box. It's a little expensive now. It was $8. I think it's gone up to like $13. But you just mix alcohol in here, 70% alcohol, and put it almost all the way up here. And then you just pour a little bit in there. So like a little jar will last you forever because you only need like, I don't know, four or five drops in there. And shake it up. I have a little BB in mine, so it's like nail polish to help it shake. And then just spray it. And you want to hold it about maybe a foot from your card. I don't know if you can see that, but it has so much shimmer on there. It's absolutely gorgeous. All right, so let me scroll back and see what I missed. Let's see, oh, it's 11.20, holy cow. I'm gonna take a shower and get, get to work. Love the tulips, thank you. Good morning from Colorado. Oh, they want you to use that. I know, I hate self, I don't mind self-checkout at, at Sam's Club because they have a little gun. So you can um, just click on everything. It takes like one minute, it's so easy. You don't have to scan it. It's just this little thing you pick up in your hand and you just, you know, hit the barcode on everything. It takes like one minute to check out and boom, usually you see the card and you're gone. Today, just the card machine wasn't working. So that was, and they only had two checkout lines, but nobody was there because I went early before the, Normal people can get there because I have a business membership. So, oh, we should spray the inside. And I don't know if any of you guys are friends with me on my Facebook uh, business page, but I put something really funny on there yesterday, and I'll read it to you in a sec. So, um, if you want to order anything, you can always order on my website. Now this paper's all sparkly. Um, this is the host code until Monday or Tuesday, whatever the 15th is. Oh, Valentine's Day is coming. Um, and don't forget a celebration for everything, every $50 you order, you get free stuff. So make sure you don't forget that. And also, um, it says I started streaming 109 seconds ago. That means something happened. Did it stop streaming? I don't know. Why would it say there's only 109 seconds? Because that's only like a minute. Um, anyway, uh, there's also a signing up special. So if you want a bunch of stuff, you can do that. You get $125 of product plus any two free stamp sets, a paper pumpkin and free shipping for only $99. So that's a great deal. And if you want this one, my favorite, favorite set, the Camellia, that's a $300 order. That's host only special. But you get six free celebration items and $36 free. So that's a super deal. So I'd love to have you as a customer and I will send you a gift too. Um, if you don't have a demonstrator, I would love to have you as a customer or don't like one. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I have a story. Well, my thing on the Facebook, do you want me to tell you now or hold it for the next one? Are you guys ready to go? I gotta go get ready for work. 
I was supposed to be at work at 12, <laughs> which is in like 30 minutes and I haven't taken a shower yet. Uh, all right. I'll save this for next time because it's really funny. If you're on my Facebook group page, then uh, forget about to be next time, okay? I don't know about that, but um, it'll be something good. Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.